TikTok producer hacks. We're gonna take a look and see what we can make. Come through the Twitch, I stream three times a week. I'm not live right now, it's an offline video. It's big, it's rare. Link in the description for that. Uh, let's look at some TikToks. Here we go, we got Hirao SC, the producer hack. Let's take a look. Producer so this hack. lady that I work with was showing me these recordings from 1915 that she found in the Library of Congress website. So I had to go check it out. I went to loc.gov and under their audio recording tab, they just have a list of a bunch of different recordings and samples. Some of them even date back to like the 1800s. loc.gov. Never thought I'd be going to a .gov website, unironically. Audio recordings, search? Okay, you search. Willie Riley. This is gonna be a banger. Oh, right the fuck? It's like an auditory flashbang. The Bishu Essentials Drum Kit, Volume 1, baby. Oh, now. Drum Kit features sounds that are fitting for a dubstep. <laughs> Trap. House. You can use these sounds in any genre though. I carefully crafted these. They're good for both beginners and also really good for just experienced producers that want good samples. Link in the description to COP. Bishu Drum Essentials Volume 1. Go get it or don't. It's up to you. Love you. Might as well. You'd have to get under, get out, and get under. What? What's this? Wow, another old one. Johnny was togged up in his best Sunday clothes. She nestled close to his side. 1913, bro. That engine got his goat. Off went his hat and coat. Everything. Let's get it. Let me EQ with that white noise while I warp. Much more manageable. And picked up his automobile. Huge. A little reverb. Okay, it's a little. Yeah. He took his sweetheart for a ride one Sunday. Okay, uh, let's add just a bass. He took his sweetheart for a ride. Oh, this is just funny. And picked up his automobile. So, we're talking about automobiles, maybe we can add like a race car sound. I don't know if this is working. Okay, I'm gonna do something fucking nuts. We're gonna use UVR, ultimate vocal remover. Okay, I wonder if this worked. Let's listen. Johnny O'Connor bought an automobile. Perfectly isolated. That's so nuts. <laughs> the M1 with his old vocals, crazy. Let's add a clap. Holy shit, this is lit. Should I try to add auto tune to him? I mean, I'm gonna try. I gotta try. I'm gonna add the vocal chain, actually. <laughs> this isn't right. This feels wrong. Is that some choirs? Choir, D sharp major. I'm really curious to see how the song goes. This is wild. Let's get these 99 snares rocking. It'd be so funny if I went halftime after the host build up. I'm not gonna do that. Automobile. Yeah, let's do it. We're doing UKG. It's a drop for ants so far. Hold on. All right, the beat's fire. Let's add a little crash. And then I'm not really sure like what the drop will be after the old guy singing. I mean, he's not old, he's actually dead. I'm pretty sure, but I mean, could I just go M1 here again? Surely not. We do a vocal chop with his, with his voice, you know? Maybe I do a little vocal of my own, just add a chop aspect. I'm not even talking at all. 
All right, this is what we made using the uh, vocal from the Gov website that we downloaded off of it. Um, I kind of blacked out and just produced without saying a word for like 30 minutes, just so I could get it to where I wanted it to, because I, I think it's sick. Um, but yeah, you know, let's just play it. Let the music speak. They say one song is a thousand pictures. That was lit. Oh, let's do another one. So it looks like we're gonna start off a little simple here. It does say music production 101. Sure, it's some simple tips in here, but uh, let's see what we can make just with the basics. Here's how to start producing if you don't know how to produce. First, I'm gonna record in some chords. Here are my chords that I recorded in. I added a few more notes to make it more interesting. I'm gonna add a bass I like, which is a sub bass. Now I'm going to quickly enter in a drum groove. I want to make this a dance beat, so I'm going to use this pattern. I duplicated my keys, but I made this one an octave higher. I'm going to add a melody using gentle sign bells, only four notes. Shout out seeds one time. Shout out seeds. Some good little tips there. Not really tips, but like kind of just showing you how to make a, a song. So let's do it. First, I'm going to record in some chords. I can do that. I'm a producer, bro. I'm a... Fucking producer and I can do chords. Watch this show. What key? I'm not live. Um, she was at like 120 it looked like. We'll go like 118 for the real Post Malone Circles energy. I don't even know if that song is in that BPM, but it doesn't matter. Okay, my, my chords are a little more uh, high IQ. It just comes with years of experience, dude, you know. Let's add a, a better instrument though. Arturia Analog Lab, there we go. Probably not the one. Let's see bowed strings. Oh yeah. Okay, cool, we got chords. What else did you say? I'm gonna press Command A to select all, and then Shift arrow key down to just select the bottom note. Then I'm gonna press Command C to copy, and I'm gonna paste the root notes into the bass. Okay, she gets the root notes and makes a bass line. I do this all the time on stream. Come through the Twitch, dude. Or you probably won't learn anything but you might have a, a, like an awakening or mental breakdown or something. I'm gonna get a classic low bass patch. I use this a lot. People always ask what it is, literally this. Sounding fucking creamy. So what else we got? Now I'm gonna quickly enter in a drum groove. Okay, beats, kick, one, two, three, four. Got it, we're gonna follow this rhythm right here. Kick. I like this. It's kind of this kick right here. Cool, we got the kick. Snare on the two and the four. Giving the weekend, maybe? Using gentle sign bells, only four notes. Okay, little bell, little bell. We can get a bell. It's not really a bell, but it kind of fits the vibe of this, like, sort of weekendy vibe. Go, we got our little bell. It's not a bell, it's a synth, but whatever. Okay, she didn't really explain the hats, but I can kind of hear it. I'm gonna go for a lo fi hat here. Finding optimal sample. I like this one. It's something malicious is brewing with this one. All right, so now let's make it good. Let's make it good. We're not stopping here. I'm gonna add velocity to our hi-hat so it has more swag. How do I add velocity to something? Chat. Oh, fuck, I'm not live. Uh, um, ah, velocity. Uh, 
There we go. Now they're kind of like bouncing, you know what I'm saying? Hmm. I think the snare is kind of dog, so we're gonna make it better. Uh, let's go Oliver. Yeah. I think maybe actually switch out the current bass with Ample Bass. Ample Bass is a bass guitar simulator and it's really sick. Ooh, kind of growly on the low end there. I think we have more bounce to this bass line, brother. Oh yeah. Okay, the bass line's sounding all right now. There's only one thing left to do, <clears throat> and that's vocals, baby. Vocals. Vogels. So Post Malone talked about circles. What's his song? We're gonna do hexagons. You were here, now you're hexagon. You were here, now you're hexagon. You were here, now you're hexagon. Alright, you were here, now you're hexagon. This fire it's red and I feel like Ron. <laughs> this fire was red and we felt like Ron. This fire was red and we Little delay on the vocal for sure. I'm getting fired up. This is a hit. <laughs> Here we go. Shove it seeds one time. The tips. What's the inspo for the song, dude? Tell me this isn't a chart topper. Here we go. Run that shit. That was tight. Let's go to the next one. All right, producer sound design hack by DNK Souse. Let's see what they got. Reasons to record sound design sessions. When you record random sounds like this, you can drag one in, set it to slice mode, add some compression, place slices on your push or your keyboard. But what's really fun is if you get an ARP and put it on random mode, just to free rate or something, and play with the gate, you can get cool glitchy sounds. Let's go. Okay, so it starts off looking for a random glitch sample. All right, let's try to do that. Let's change out the BPM here a little bit. Let's go 160. Yeah. All right. Uh, let's look up glitch just in my library. See if we can find one. That's a good one. Okay. Let's use that. Why not? Uh, bro got a sampler. I believe. You can drag one in, set it to slice. Drag one in to a sampler. Okay, I'm dragging it, I dragged it in, all right, there it is. I don't know what this, is this, is this, sam this is not simpler sampler? I don't know what this is. Anyway, let's go to slice mode. <laughs> Sounds fucking sick, but it's only one note that I can use. Okay, wait, the sample is just too short, I think, actually. This sample works, though. But what's really fun is if you get an ARP and put it on random mode. Okay, ARP random mode, huge. Free, play with the gate. You can play with the gate. You can get cool glitchy sounds. <laughs> Woo! Okay, build up. Yeah. Okay, we're gonna make some hard shit, I think. Uh, let me just add a kick. Yeah. Yeah, um, yeah, um, yeah, um, Drake. Get a chop snare. You're like a cheeky snare, it's something like some like flavor to it, like a ding. All right, chat pre-jaw vocal. What's that say? Um, bass music god seven six three. I'm losing my mind. Anyways, uh, maybe just a quick, quick little like arp or something, just for the intro. Set the dark tone. Let's get Selena. Out. You know, spooky. Drop 
drums are already kind of hot. Yeah. We do like quick 808 stabs and then have that lead come in. So I know I'm kind of teasing with the lead because I haven't really done anything with it, but it'll be worth it. Just wait. And then like, boom, 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 boom. Oh, let's do this. Had a buzzing sub kind of thing. Look at our glitch sound in here. Let's make it, make it, make it hot. Okay, sick. It's kind of cold. Right out of this. Add a little wub here. What if that was the bass instead? Maybe like some bongos or something. You know what I'm saying? Whew. On the snare maybe? I'll get that flow going. We need a vocal, we need a spicy vocal, I believe. Okay, the flow goal is crazy. Maybe we can play with the glitches a little bit more because I feel like I kind of left them in the dust just doing everything else. Maybe we go triplets here or some shit. Not triplets, but you know, different notes. Since we're on this like funk kind of vibe, I'm gonna add a cowbell. I think about adding some texture from the glitch onto the wub here. This one. See if we can do it. Okay. Once again, I blacked out and tweaked for like an hour without saying a word. But yeah, here we go. This is what we made. Let's get it. Pretty good. Good shit. Let's go. That concludes TikToks. Hope you enjoyed. Hope you learned stuff. Hope you found it interesting. I actually stream. I'm not live right now, but I do similar content to this live on my Twitch, twitch.tv slash Hulkamabishu. Link in the description. It is fun. Hope you enjoyed. Uh, keep doing this. If you guys like it, feel free to link me TikToks inside of my Discord. Discord link in description uh, where you can, you know, maybe if there's another TikTok hack that you think I should try, drop it there. At me. Do it. Uh, also, I dropped a drum pack, BC Drum Essentials, Volume 1. You probably already saw the ad unless you skipped it. But yeah, also link in the description for that. Proud of that. A lot of samples, good value for beginners and expert producers. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed. Peace. Come through to the Twitch. You won't. You won't.